Today, let's try to understand the concept of vulnerability and vulnerability specifically as it applies to clinical research. Now, what is vulnerability? Vulnerability in general, as you would understand, means susceptibility or being prone to something. And in this case, it's more likely to be prone to be exploited, prone to harm in research. So that's, that's the idea. Now, who do you think are vulnerable? Are, are there some people inherently vulnerable? What do you think? Yes, you're right that there could be some people who could be inherently vulnerable. Examples include maybe children, elderly people, women, especially pregnant women, people like prisoners, there could be people who are homeless and often all these people are definitely included on vulnerable list if you go through the literature. But let's pause for a minute and think, are these the only people who are vulnerable? Are you, you being students and uh, learned, educated students, are you vulnerable? Well, you might be thinking, why am I posing this question? Yes, it could be possible that you are vulnerable. It depends on who is subjecting you to something and depending on that you can be vulnerable. Now let's think, do you think I am vulnerable? Yes? No? No, there's, there's no trick, but then yes, as I said, I could be vulnerable as well. I may be a professor, I may be you know doing well, I may be socially well off, but depends on the context, depends on the situation, depends on where I'm getting into, what I'm getting into and what is my state at that time, so that can make me vulnerable. So please remember, vulnerability as a concept does not apply to a, only a group of people or a particular kind of participants. It could be anybody who's vulnerable.